science. Everyday materials. Lesson 3. Testing properties. Can you remember what a material is? If you look all around you, we are surrounded by objects. A material is what an object is made from. For example, a chair. It might be made from wood, plastic or even metal. Can you remember any of the properties of materials we looked at last week? Press pause now and see how many you can write down. Here's a little tip for you. We started off by looking at opposites. So for example, what's the opposite of soft? That's right, hard. Now how many can you write down? Here are a few of the properties that I remembered. I've also included some of the materials that have that property too. Hard. Like a piece of rock. A glass jar. A metal tin can. Like a diamond. A plastic cup. A brick, some wood, and a ceramic coffee cup. Soft, like wool, leather, fabric, and cotton. Transparent, like a diamond some glass and plastic. Flexible like rubber, leather, paper, plastic, metal and fabric. Now it's time to test some materials. Sometimes you can tell just by looking at materials which properties they have. When you look at a teddy bear, you know it's soft, don't you? But sometimes you need to carry out a few tests to find out how they behave. The test we are going to perform together is to find out whether materials are flexible or not flexible. You will need a hair bubble, or it could be a rubber band, a spoon, a pen or pencil, a plate, a straw, and a sock. Press pause now while you go and find those items. And don't worry if you can't find them all. You could have a look at what's near you and use that instead. Are you ready? I hope you managed to find everything. Here's what we're going to do. Number one, pick up each item when I tell you to. Number two, very carefully hold it with one hand. Number three, with your free hand, I want you to use your little finger and push down very gently. And finally, we're going to confirm whether it's flexible or not. Let's go! First, I want you to pick up your hair bubble, or perhaps you found a rubber band. Hold it in one hand and gently pull down with your little finger. Does it bend or not? Is it flexible? That's right, it is, isn't it? Let's put it in the flexible side. Next, let's pick up the spoon. Hold it in one hand and gently push down with your little finger. Is the spoon flexible or does it stay the same shape? That's right, it's not flexible. Let's put it in the not flexible side. Now I want you to pick up the pen or perhaps you found a pencil. Hold it in one hand and gently push down with your little finger. Is the pen flexible? 
No, it's not, is it? It stays the same shape. Let's put it in the not flexible side. Now let's pick up the plate. Be careful. So hold it in one hand and gently push down with your little finger. Is the plate flexible? The plate's hard, isn't it? And it stays the same shape. That's right. It's not flexible. Now let's pick up the straw. Hold it in one hand, push down with your little finger. Is the straw flexible? Can you move it easily? You can, can't you? Well done. The straw is flexible. Finally, let's pick up the sock. Put it in one hand and with your other hand, can you use your little finger to see if you can bend it? Is the sock flexible? It is, isn't it? That's right. Let's put the sock in the flexible side. So, the materials that we found flexible today were rubber, plastic and fabric. And the ones that we found not flexible were metal, plastic and ceramic. Have you noticed something? Sometimes a material can have different qualities. It just depends how it's been made. So the plastic, if it's thin, it can be made flexible. But if the plastic's been made thicker, it can mean that it's nice and firm and it's hard, so it's not flexible. Give yourself a well done! You were fantastic at testing the properties of materials. So if you wanted to try another little experiment at home, you could try a waterproof and not waterproof experiment. Use your sink and you could pop a teddy bear in the bottom of the sink. Hold different materials above the teddy bear and then pour a little bit of water over the top. You can find out then which materials are waterproof. I hope you have fun. But remember to always get your grown-ups help if you're playing with water. I really hope you enjoyed that science lesson. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube if you did. And remember to subscribe to my channel, Love to Learn with Miss Ellis. Bye for now.